Good afternoon from Universal Studios. We're out here today at Islands to go look at all the Christmas stuff. We're continuing our theme park vlog of going to all the major theme parks here in Orlando to get us in the holiday mood. So why don't you guys come along? Let's go make some memories together. Gonna start off here in Port of Entry. Gonna take a look inside the shops, look at all the fun decor. Maybe run into the treat shop, see if there's anything fun. I'm excited. The adventure begins. This is actually our first vlog out here at Islands of Adventure, which is funny because Islands is one of my favorite parks in like all of Disney and Universal. It's just hard to make videos out, out here at Universal. They don't like you filming on a lot of different things, but we're out here to look at Christmas stuff, so I'm excited. All right, got all the fun festive decor in here. Ooh, I like all this over here. This is all the nautical stuff. That's really nice. I don't know if she's normally here, but she looks very festive, very pretty. I think this store has one of the tree trails, like the, the hidden trees that are around the resort. If you watched my tribute store vlog and my studios vlog, we've pointed out one at each one. We'll do the same for here if we find it. I won't tell you where Earl the Squirrel is if we see him in there, but just so you guys get an idea of the stroll that they do. Okay, so I found the tree right here. Oh, I like the Anubis head in there. That's cool. Very nice. Yeah, lots of uh, explorer looking things. There's like a big cool anchor down there. Yeah, I like it. That scarab is nice. This almost feels like this should be over at studios with all of the mummy stuff. But I guess it makes sense here. Just like explorers and adventurers. Very cool. Yeah, so if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, they have this holiday treat hunt that you can do. It does cost money. It's anywhere from like 10 to $12. I believe it's 12 um, but yeah, you basically pay to get a map, you walk around between Universal Studios and Islands Adventure, find all the different trees, mark them on your map, and you get a prize at the end. So if you've been to Epcot, you've done one of their World Showcase strolls, it's kind of the same thing. And I found Earl pretty easily, he, he wasn't very well hidden, or maybe I just got lucky, but yeah, he's in there too. Other than that, kind of the same decorations all around, nothing really in Harry Potter, but they did a great job making this very festive. I like all the golds and the bronzes. I don't know if I mentioned, but that was the uh, trading company right there. Next, we're gonna go into like the photography store, which turns into the Christmas store, and it's a bunch of stores that kind of connect. So we'll go look there, see if there's any fun stuff. The store is also attached to kind of their like main bakery thing on uh, on their main strip here, and it smells like candy, like walnuts or almonds. It smells so good. It smells just like Christmas. Also, something that they carry year round though. Here's the Christmas store. This is here year round because most theme parks here will have a store that is permanent. This one, like this room here, is like strictly Harry Potter stuff. Not sure if there's anything new, I doubt it. This room is just like your general Christmas stuff, like just some general ornaments, Santa stuff, snowman stuff, all your Grinch stuff. I think all this is here year round too, all the Grinch, which makes sense. All right, that's about it for Port of Entry. Figure we'll do like what we do in our normal Christmas vlogs. Do a spin around the park. Luckily, Island's just a big circle. And uh, look at snacks, get a snack later. There's a snack that I have in mind that I really wanna try from last year. And uh, yeah, just enjoy our day. It's also not busy here at all. We're coming on a Tuesday. It's the week before Thanksgiving. So I figured it would be really crowded, but no, there's like nobody here. Wait times are really low. We might even write a few things. We obviously can't film on them. We're just here to have a fun uh, Island's day. Oh, Matt's also here, by the way. He's been off doing his own thing. I figured we would go towards Marvel Superhero Island and work our way around. I know Grinch is gonna have the most Christmas stuff, obviously. I figured we would wanna end there, but um, yeah, you ready? Let's do it. Now, I'm not really expecting a ton of Christmas decor outside of like Harry Potter and Dr. Seuss and maybe Lost Continent. So it's kind of also why we're starting over here because I really don't think we're gonna see much. Yeah, see, there's like no crowds here. Hulk is like a 15 minute wait. Nobody's in this park today. I love it. We popped inside Cafe Four and they've got these really cute, um, like teal and purple trees kind of sprinkled throughout. So there's some over there by the main entrance. And then here against the wall, they've got uh, the Fantastic Four in like the same colored wreaths. Yeah, so far not really anything here in the land. Um, I think it might just be all inside of stores. We'll pop into the like main store 
Literally, it's called store. Yeah. We'll pop in here next. Yeah, I think most of what this land is gonna have is just like, just some general Christmas trees. Just kind of sprinkled throughout. I didn't expect much in Marvel, but at, at least it's something. I like the purple and green. I'm sure they have one of the like themed stroll trees here somewhere. Um, I don't know if we're gonna seek it out, but we do want to do a vlog at some point of all of them. Just kind of show you guys everything, like a full spoilery kind of thing for it. Cause it sounds like it would be a lot of fun. I feel dumb because when I walked in, I was like, oh, green and purple, that's uh, Green Goblin. And no, I'm just a dummy. It's for the Hulk. We went into the five and dime or five and 10, I don't remember which one it is. It's the Spider-Man store. And uh, of course, Spider-Man colored tree. It's very vibrant blue. All right, so that wraps up Superhero Island. Not a whole lot outside of the stuff inside the stores, the multicolor trees. There's a couple that we didn't show. Nothing too crazy fancy, but they did have one of the uh, stroll trees in there. We're moving on next into Toon Lagoon. I think a lot of the decor here is also going to be inside the stores. So we'll, we'll look inside this uh, gift shop here and then make our way through. It's not a super big land, uh, so I'm not expecting a lot over here either. Just general Christmas trees. Not as cool as the marble ones, but like more traditional. Looks like some refurb happening at Dudley Do-Rights getting close to winter so usually water rides will shut down but yeah that's only like one of two attractions in this land and there was like almost no Christmas decorations there except for a couple things inside the store we didn't go inside comic strip cafe so there might be more in there but we didn't bother looking so we're right by uh, Kong here right before you get in Jurassic Park and I forgot this damage happened during uh, Hurricane Ian I assume when Nicole came through it made it even worse but yeah they're still working on that that's the uh, side of river adventure i don't think it's i don't think it's closed but yeah still still under construction we're gonna look inside thunder falls which is one of the restaurants here at the Jurassic park area and see if there's any christmas decor in here oh well, looks like they're doing a bit of construction in here yeah you've got some nice uh like amber colored bulbs that's a nice touch yeah just kind of spread throughout the restaurant not bad having pretty good luck finding hot sets my last couple of days here at Universal. I don't know quite what they're filming. Maybe like a vacation video or a commercial, but all these look like uh, people dressed as tourists or just like stagehands. I don't know. They look like very normal people, but yeah. yeah. They look like uh, they're just here to ride the ride. Yeah, they're just here to film stuff. Very cool. You don't see that too often here. They must be like filming for a new commercial soon. Something for like maybe next summer. Probably. Yeah, it's kind of gearing. Or maybe even for this holiday season, they could turn around real quick and have it ready to go. Maybe. I, I feel like the production would probably take a little bit longer. Probably. Than just this holiday season. Because, I mean, to promote for something for holiday season, they would have to be out now. That's true. If not sooner. Yeah. Because, like, even the, like, we've seen ads for Disney, and those were for Christmas, like, back in, like, September. Oh, yeah, they continued the set over here. I'm actually filming somebody doing the rock climbing. Interesting. It's a weird thing to film, but I guess if you just want to show, like, all the special things you can do here, I guess... Rock climbing in Jurassic Park is one of those. I mean, it'd probably be for like a split second that they'd show. Yeah, that just someone like literally reaching up and grabbing a rock and switching yeah. over to the next it's thing. Because it's it's a little kid, so they're gonna ride like do a second or two of him like him like kind of climbing and like smiling. Probably okay, going into Jurassic Outfitters, seeing if there's anything cool in here. More of those amber type bulbs. So we're here in the like Dino Research Center, the main building, and just more of the same bronze and gold, amber colored stuff, which makes sense. I mean, this isn't super heavily decorated and the colors fit Jurassic Park. He's ready. They put hats on both of them. It's cute. So we decided to get lunch here at Burger Digs inside of like the main uh, Jurassic Park area. We each got a Casado burger, which is like, what is it? Like a Puerto Rican burger with like a pork belly and like avocado and a bunch of stuff. It looks good. We're gonna eat it, we'll let you guys know how it is. What I do love is that there is a condensation. Ignore the ugly like napkins because there was nothing else to put it in. But like, you can load up with as much condiments as you want, which I love. What'd you think of your Casado burger? I thought it was pretty good. It, yeah. it did fall, fall apart pretty easily. Yeah, the bread wasn't the, the bun, freshest. But yeah. yeah. It was still pretty good. Yeah, I thought it was decent. It was definitely worth the value, especially with the uh, the uh, toppings bar, for sure. Um, I will say, uh, I forgot those plantains on it. They were actually probably my favorite part about it. I like that savory sweet. 
Yeah, it had like uh, plantains, avocado, some kind of crema, I think. There was a whole host of things. But yeah, I thought it was good. Yeah. All right, here we are at Hogsmeade. We wanted to come in the proper direction, otherwise we would have come in from the other side where Jurassic Park is, but we came around and wanted to film it like a proper entryway. But this is where all the Christmas stuff should really be starting. They go very hard with Christmas here in uh, both Harry Potter lands. We're really fortunate we came on a really quiet day today because this land is very empty. Being Harry Potter, this land is unbelievably popular. I guess it is believably popular, but for such an old land, because this land has existed since what, like 2011, 2010? Very long time at this point. And it's like it was built yesterday. People flock to this in unbelievable amounts. I like the outside of uh, Three Broomsticks. That's pretty. The fish and chips smell so good. I know. Oh, these are I think these are inspired by Hermione's dress, maybe? I think it's just Honeyduke. Just Honeyduke's yeah. colors, yeah. Pink. Yeah. I, I always really love this shop. I just love the pink yeah. and green together. Well, yeah, it's your two favorite colors. Well, yeah, it is my two favorite colors. It's not even like heavy handed, but it's still really festive. It feels more in, in universe. It smells really good in here too. We were mentioning earlier how like we just don't really ever get to stop and look at anything in this land because it's always so busy. So like being able to stop and like look at the window shops and or the the like windows is like really nice. Is this an actual? I don't think so. No, it's not. Yeah. Oh yeah, see it is moving. I thought it was one of the interactive windows, but it's not. Oh, that's cool. Hmm. I I've never noticed that before. No. At some point, we want to come out here and do like an actual like Harry Potter related vlog. Uh, it'd be fun to do like the wand stuff and just ride the attractions. Obviously, we can't film on them, but just to like kind of show the vibe of this land, the food, the drink, because it is a lot of fun. This is one of the main reasons to come to Universal. When I was looking in the holiday times guide, I saw that the Frog Choir, I think, has a special Christmas show. Oh, yeah, I need to see that. Yeah, you, oh, you haven't seen it at that. all. Uh, oh, yeah, I don't know if they do a special holiday one. Well, just in general, just seeing them. I've never seen them, and I've always wanted to. Yeah, that's true. Forgot that was here too. Now this snowman's always here because it's perpetually winter here in Hogsmeade if you guys didn't catch that already. No matter if it's a hundred degrees out, it's still winter here. Yeah, they gave him a little wreath above his head. And now I know they do a nighttime show for Christmas that we I want to put in a vlog later along with the Macy's Day Parade next door. Just kind of show you guys some of the nighttime entertainment. I never get tired of seeing that castle. Here's the stage where the different shows go on the Frog Choir and the Triwizard Tournament show with Bo Battens and, what are they called? Durmstrang. So to celebrate the start of the winter season, we got a hot butter beer, which is now offered year round, but obviously, you know, we want to do something a little wintry, even though it's still like 70 degrees outside today. And then we got a pumpkin juice, also year round, but we've never had it. Oh, that's really nice. That's really nice. Mm, that's really nice. It's very hot, too. Yeah, it was like fresh, fresh. The team member did a wonderful job. She uh, went and grabbed us a fresh thing because they were almost out. Mm -hmm. And she wanted to make sure that we had a, like a proper thing of it. That's pretty good, too. See, I feel like I've had pumpkin juice before, but I... I, I thought I, you said that you had. I can't remember if I did. Yeah, I mean, it just tastes like an apple cider. Yeah. Let me try the hot first. Oh, that is very nice. I'm a big Frozen stan. This might be my favorite. This, this is very situational, though I would never want to get this any earlier in the year than now. Like, I could see why it was only a winter offering because, like, it does get decently cold here in January and February, which we will absolutely come back and get more of these, but my God. This is a hit. Yum. Oh, my God. Pumpkin juice. I can never tell pumpkin juice just needs like a little bit of like stirring. The ice lightens the top of it so much that it looks like the rest of it just needs to be like stirred a bit. Yeah, I feel like I, I've had this before. 
Wizarding World offers a whole lot of unique drinks year round. Different kinds of butter beer. There's like a like a, something called like a fishy green ale that I've had before. It's like a I don't even know what flavor it is. But it has like boba and it's kind of like a weird minty. It's like a minty drink. Yeah. It's, it's kind weird. Of like a mint julep almost. Kind of like a mint julep, but like more minty. The Frog Choir Show, the Christmas version, starts in just a few minutes. We're going to head that way and uh, find ourselves a spot. Matt was saying how the consistency of the warm butter beer kind of tastes like a hot cocoa or like kind of has like a feeling of a hot cocoa, which like I get because he said he thought it would be like a hot butter beer, which is kind of like a soda, just like, like a normal butter beer uh, or like a cider. I would love this as a hot, a hot pumpkin juice. Maybe. I think that would be real good. Well, yeah, I guess it, it's basically like a cider. Yeah. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, ring the hall for now. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, cross the Christmas bell. Now on this ways of Christmas, have a Merry Christmas day. Love around the smiling flood, have a Merry Christmas day. I am in your stocking, see the What'd you think? Oh, that was really cute. It was very cute. I liked it. I really liked the frog puppets. Yeah, they were really silly. It's funny how like one scene from the third movie, and they've never shown them ever again or before, like led to this show. They do such a great job with it. I was trying to like watch for the hands that were holding it because I couldn't tell if they were real hands or not. I think they were real. I wonder if they were like controlling it underneath. Like that's underneath it because it has like the 
like kind of tassel, I think. What didn't it have like tassels? Like I don't know. Tassel? They they did a good job of like concealing everything. Yeah. I also want to know like who like if they are the ones making the or noise or if well, it's they're something. Not the noise. They're just well, I know they're not, but I don't know if it's like the puppet that's doing it or if it's like they're timed with it. I have, I have no idea. Yeah, I think they're just trained to time with it. Yeah. But a great show. A lot of more contemporary stuff. I, I didn't expect the beatboxing. Yeah, yeah. I didn't but I mean, that. it was cute. I liked it. Yeah. All right, so we are going to leave Hogsmeade. I believe that is everything for here. Um, not going to go into any of the queues for the attractions, even though they probably have something. But we're going to keep moving on. We're going to go to the Lost Continent. There is a store over here that has, it's like a seasonal store. I think it's still Halloween. But we're going to see if there's anything Christmas in there because they've, Kind of changed it up over the last year to be something kind of fresh. We're gonna stop in there and then we're gonna go to Seuss Landing. Seuss Landing's gonna have all the Christmas stuff, so I hope we get to see a lot of it. Here's the marketplace for the Lost Continent. The only land that has no IP or movie attached to it, so it's kind of like it kind of stands out. But here's the All Hallows Eve boutique. I'm assuming it's gonna be just Halloween stuff in there. We're gonna go look. Oh, they do have a tree in here. I assume it's part of the stroll. That's pretty. So far, just Halloween stuff. It is different Halloween stuff. Oh, yeah. Here's a Christmas slash Halloween shirt. That might be like the only thing in here other than the, uh, there might be more. the tree. I know. Further back, but that's really cute. That is cute. It does, it does give like darker, like Nightmare Before Christmas Looks and like Krampus. It does look like over the garden wall. Ooh, they do have one of those wax figure machines. If you've seen my other Universal vlogs, you've known that I've, I point these out pretty frequently. This one is uh, like a lump of coal Christmas tree, I think that's what it's called. Yeah, you pay the $8 and makes it for you and you take it home. One of these days, I'll make one of these. I just haven't found one that like really speaks to me. But yeah, I'm glad this is back here. They do have some of these like Magic Candle Company ones that I've not seen yeah, I don't even know these are technically Magic Candle Company. Oh no, no, they are, okay. There's a Seasons Creepings. Sorry if the blue light kind of washes everything out. Seasons Creepings. Maybe this is what smells so good in here. Maybe it's I, these. I was kind of wondering if that's what it was. Krampus Crisp, I think it might be the Krampus Crisp. Yeah, it's just those two, I think. They do have room sprays. They have um, like some wax smells. I think these are just Halloween though. Seasons Creepy. Creepings. Yeah. What's that smell like? I think they both smell like a craft store, but in like a good way. In a good way. This one smells a little bit too much like Play-Doh to me. I don't really care for that one too much. Oh yeah, I really like Krampus Crisp. I'm glad we stopped in here. There was a lady that overheard uh, one of my previous conversations. She said it was just Halloween. So I'm glad we still looked in there. It was like 90% Halloween, but I'm glad that we got to see the new candles and the t-shirt and the wax machine. Yeah. Hi, King Julian. I love you, King Julian. Aside from the store, everything seems business as normal here in the uh, uh, Lost Continent. I didn't really expect anything here. They don't really know what to do with this land. It only has one attraction and like a restaurant and a couple other things. Um, rumors for years about it getting replaced. Zelda was the biggest one, which I'd be totally fine with if Zelda took over here. But yeah, I don't, yeah, not a whole lot. They'd probably wait if they were to do something with it until after Epic was done. And I'm assuming once Epic's open, they're probably going to work on studios at fixing all of its stuff. Yeah. Since they've already announced that they're closing the Kids Zone area. Yeah, I mentioned that in a previous vlog. The Kids Zone is going away. Yeah. And that DreamWorks is kind of the big rumor right now. At least the big yeah. speculation. Well, maybe smart to give Shrek and like all of them a more permanent home. That's true. Yeah, because they just moved the Shrek meet and greet over there, and now they're demolishing it again. Like, I guess, I guess it was rather temporary. Like, I'm sure it was a, a quick slap together. Well, I'm sure just move it over there, but still, like, why even put it up temporarily? Right. You only had it for like a month or two. Right. Mary, Mary, Seuss Landing. Now, when I say Christmas was everywhere here, I, I wasn't joking. This is the one section of the park that really goes heavy on the Christmas. I mean, arguably they have one of the most recognizable Christmas characters ever created, so they really do ham that up. There is meet and greets for the Grinch. I don't know if there's even any virtual queue spots left. I think it's just virtual queue. It's just virtual, it's just virtual queue. 
and then I know there are Who's that walk around that you can interact with as well, which I actually see a handful of them up here. And tinsel candy canes. This land is also really beautiful at night. Coaster. I was. It looks like your hat got flown all the way back. <laughs> I didn't even see like the mayor guy over there too. Popped inside the treat store and they do have Grinch caramel apples. Those might be here year round though. I, I, I don't remember. It would make sense. And they also have this cute seasonal cupcake of a Christmas tree. That is a ton of frosting too. Other than that, there's not a whole lot. Just uh, pretty, pretty normal affairs here. They do always have really great looking treats though. So all the who's, I assume, just all, all went to break because there's a customer that came through and he goes, there's a sale, 99% off, like, from from the movie. And they all, like, screamed and they all ran off backstage. It was, it was cute. There's Sam and Cat and Thing 1 and Thing 2. Even all the truffle trees are all decorated. I want to go inside Circus McGurkis. Because I think this is where the Grinch breakfast is at. I, think I just want to see what decorations they have in here. Oh, yeah, it looks yeah, good. It. Oh, man. Well, yeah, but that's fine. I just want to walk through and look at all this. Yeah, we've seen TikToks of uh, the Grinch breakfast where you can come in and... Uh, you eat, I think it was like at, a, at an after hours party, I think is what it was, an after hours party, uh, where he like smashes the cookie. Oh yeah. Yeah, he would, some guest was sitting down, he walks by, and he just like looks at the cookie, just goes like that, and like walks off, and just smashes it, and it was the funniest thing I think I'd ever seen, it was so good. Oh, they have a dog house um, for Max, it's made out of gingerbread. That's super cute, I didn't even know that was in here. And they do have a stage show that they put on for uh, Grinchmas, about every hour there's a couple times during the day where they're not running it but uh, the next one starts about like 30 minutes or so yeah here's the show time it's 11 15 12 15 it's about 4 30 now so five o'clock and then six and seven the show it's back where um the blue man group theater is slash used to be yeah so you, it's like you travel backstage i think but they're letting guests in now and it's the show starts about 20 30 minutes so we're gonna go in i we, just assume this was like an expressway between the parks. They they do have that. I don't remember if this is exactly where it is, but this does take you outside of the park technically and over to uh, uh, the, the Blue Man Theater. Hello. Oh, I love it. Ooh, I really like this. We have an amazing, like, front on view.
With this coat and this hat, I look just like Saint Nick. I'm speaking in rhymes. You are me, Mr. Grinch.
cute show. What'd you think? I thought it was really cute. You thought, yeah, it was really it was cute. The live action Grinch is one of my favorite Christmas movies of all time. Mm -hmm. So it's it, it's nice to see them basically redo it. It was like maybe 20 minutes. It was, it was decently short. Yeah. But I've watched the movie so many times. I have a set way of how the Grinch says everything. So anytime they put like a like a new uh, like twist on it, mm -hmm. I'm like that's not how it goes. But I really liked it. It was really nice. Mm -hmm. And Max was a real dog, which was cute. I, I it would seem needless, but I'm glad it was a thing. Happy Hula Days! Happy Hula Days. <laughs> it's a camera. How? It's that big. That is tiny. Yeah, it's very tiny. Tiny, you can see me from there? I can see you from here. How long is tiny? Why is the movie so small? Whoa, 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 whoa! It was my Hula Day gift to myself. Oh! Yeah! Bye, happy holidays! This is what I wanted to get. It's the Grinch ice cream sandwich. I had it last year and I was hoping it was something that was like carried year round, just maybe not in like the Grinch shape or color, but it was so good and I like really, really want to get it again. So we're gonna get it. So it definitely looks a little different from the picture, yeah. and this is not how they served it last year. But uh, yeah, we got extra ice cream, yeah, which I'm, yeah, well. I'm not complaining about yeah. it, but that's so funny to me. Well, yeah, I was like, what? It's it just like, like a brick. It looks like a block of cheese. It just looks like a block of cheese, like a block of like mozzarella. Mm -hmm. All right, we're gonna go find a quiet place to sit, and we're gonna eat it. So we didn't want to travel too far because it started to slide off the plate, but we got a little bench here on the side. Yeah, it does that. Yeah. So it like slid, and I almost lost it. Yeah, I don't know why I like this so much because it's it's just like a green sugar cookie with like frost. It's just yeah, it's a very simple thing. But I got it last year just on a whim, and I loved it so much that like I was very sad when I learned it was a hundred percent seasonal. It's really good. Isn't that really good? The cookies are really nice. Mm-hmm. Mm. Like no wonder they sell just the cookies. The cookies are, are my favorite part. Yeah, I was gonna say they're really nice. They're so nice. soft. I thought they was gonna like be mint or something, but mm -mm. it's like. It's just sugar vanilla. Like, it's oh. very basic. No crazy flavor. But I love how soft it is. Mm. Don't you wish they had that year round, but just like maybe not Grinch, maybe somebody else? Maybe they do somewhere in the park and I've just completely missed it. They could just have a Grinch year round. I, true, yeah. Like, he's the most popular character in the well, entire cat. section. Grinch is more popular than Cat. Really? Yeah, oh, yeah. I could see that. I mean, it's why they have Grinch mess. Well, that's true. I mean, yeah. It's so hard to eat though. What is that little candy piece? Like a M and M or? I don't remember what it is. I want to say it's like a like a sweet tart kind of heart. Mm -hmm. oh. mm -hmm. Just like sugar, like hard sugar. Here, I own the other one. It's like a. I can't remember what those are called. Oh. Yeah, it's like a fruity flavor. It's like a sweet tart. A sweet tart. Yeah, it's, that's sweet tart. Look, there's the trolley right there. Really nice kinetic energy throughout the land. It's like this park's people mover. What I like most about that thing is that it's technically considered a coaster because of how it's built. Yeah, nobody ever considers it one. But if you want coaster credits, that counts. Very cool on my team. I know. I'm glad the ice cream's not hard though. Uh -huh. It's very soft ice cream. The Hoosier out still causing mayhem. Like he's walking around, it's like, Casually decorating things. In the movie, when the Grinch steals all their stuff because he thinks they're gonna care, mm -hmm. why do they all of a sudden not care? They do. They're all crying at first. Right, and then, but then like, I think Cindy Lou Who reminds them of like the time of like the season. I just, I just don't remember that because I remember they go boo hoo, and they all like leave their houses, and like the Grinch wins, and then. I think they do care until the Grinch shows up. And because the Grinch starts feeling bad at that point. I don't remember. The show was very abridged and glossed right over that. Like, Cindy Lou never went up to the Grinch's place. They very much rushed it. But, I mean, it, it, it was fine. It was yeah, a nice condensed. condensed. For, it was yeah. very condensed down to 20 minutes. But, I mean, they told the story and it worked. Final bite. 
give you guys a bit of a glimpse of this land at night. Did a great job with the decorating. It's not even fully dark yet and it looks fantastic. Alrighty friends, well that wraps up today's adventure out here at Universal's Islands of Adventure. I had a blast out here checking out all the Christmas stuff. What'd you like most? Uh, I think finally seeing the frog choir. Yeah, the frog I really choir. Like I really did like that too. My favorite was either the Grinch show or having the ice cream sandwich. Oh yeah, the Grinch. I, Those were probably the top three. Yeah, obviously this park has a lot of Christmas things to do. Most of it's going to be over here in Seuss Landing but it's a blast regardless. So thank you guys so much for coming along. Hope you guys had fun, and thank you guys so much for making memories with us. We'll see you next time.